Let's dive into a Dallas Cowboys report mailbag filmed live on the channel, so make sure you guys are subscribed. Get to Zachary Marquez. Could Bruce Irvin help us at linebacker? There, there is the Dan Quinn connection. If you're looking for someone to kind of fill a hybrid Sam Leo role who's going to be really cheap, sure. But frankly, I would expect Kyle Wilbur-esque production at this point out of Bruce Irvin, especially coming off his own injury. From Joseph, is Casey McCoy, Trey Boston, Dak resigns, Caleb Farley the pick, and a Christian Kirksey or Van Noy edition the best case possible for Dallas? So you've got two defense tackles, Drell Casey, Gerald McCoy, Trey Boston coming in, you're drafting Farley, and you're adding one of Christian Kirksey or Kyle Van Noy. I wouldn't consider that best case, um, depending on the cost for Van Noy and Kirksey, though. I think it could actually be kind of plausible, and it could actually be a good step in the right direction to helping fix your defense. So in terms of realistic options, I don't mind that one at all there, Joseph. Quick shout-out, by the way, to Anthony for his two Super Chats, one ninety nine cents. This one, $1.99. Just pay Dak or you lost with your quarterback situation. Yeah, pretty much. Good comment. From DeLunatic, confident Steven spends more in free agency. Uh, what is absolute zero? What is less than absolute zero, Producer Brett? Do you, do you not want to top of your head? Like, I have, I have no confidence whatsoever in Steven Jones spending more in free agency. This is not a team that has chosen to do so. They've always been like, we're not going to kick money down the road. We're not going to spend to the Catholic. We're going to roll over money for a rainy day, and then it's always sunny out some somehow. So no, especially in a lower cap year, I don't anticipate the Cowboys getting creative to spend big in free agency. From Zeke Prescott, keep Michael Gallup, trade Cooper to save cap. No. And I like Michael Gallup, but Amari Cooper was awesome this year. Why am I getting worse at receiver? Still eating some dead money in Amari Cooper, by the way, to put cap space zero on. Like, I don't, want, I don't want the cap space jersey. I like Michael Gallup, don't get me wrong. I would rather keep him Amari Cooper and trade Gallup for a draft pick or a defensive piece. From Lee Mendoza, sign Kyle Van Noy, maybe even cut Jalen Smith. Van Noy is supposed to be cut by the Dolphins or potentially traded. Um... He is a unique prospect in the sense that he, when he's not stopping the run on passing downs, almost to a 50-50 split, he is blitzing half the time, dropping into coverage. Left. That's pretty unique for a linebacker. He could fit in a Dan Quinn-style defense, probably more as a 4-3 Sam linebacker, but I don't love his fit for the Cowboys. And frankly, unless you're cutting Jalen Smith or trading LVE or something, I don't want to invest any particular money in a linebacker this offseason. So if he's cheap, sure, he wasn't that great last year. I don't think he's a dream target, though, for the Dallas Cowboys. But if you want to name your dream target, go ahead and do so in the comments section. Name a free agent that you want the Dallas Cowboys to sign. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get the ad break, scroll on down and get your votes in. From Zeno, Cowboys are going to lose Dak. I wish it wasn't true, but it is. Also, I know he's injury prone, but do you really believe Romo was done because we chose Dak over Romo in 2016? Now we're going to lose him. Yeah, Romo was done. Like, he could have played another year. He wouldn't have made it for another year, though. Like, shout out Jerry Jones for finessing Romo to retire instead of going to a team like the Broncos, for example. Like, I, I will forever love Romo. His body was done, though. The spirit was willing. The flesh was not, though. So, unfortunately, it was the right choice to go to Dak. They just should have paid him in the end. That, that's what would have been more important in the end. From the actual CAP, I don't know why people would choose Sertan over Farley. You know, it's, it's the recognition of Alabama, and it's the, the, le the, the, the less risk that comes with Sertan. Farley did not play this year. He's kind of out, out of the, the mindset a little bit there. Sertan is a more tec technique-based prospect. I like Sertan. Don't get me wrong, though. But I would go with Caleb Farley if I were in charge of the Cowboys. 
We got some Cowboys St. Patrick's Day themed gear available. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys Green. I like this t-shirt. It works. I wouldn't think that the Cowboys in green meshes all that well, but it does this time around. And it's perfect for this time of the year. It's almost St. Patrick's Day. So if you want to stay festive and rep America's team in the process, go over to chatsports.com slash Cowboys Green and check yours out today. From Gabe Flores, sign Nick Martin. Doesn't make too much sense, but it would be cool. Earl Thomas. Nick Martin, the brother of Zach Martin, the recently released Houston Texans center. If he wants to sign the Joe Looney contract to be a backup, sure, let's ride. Otherwise, nah, you got a better guy already in Tyler Biadish. From Zachary, who is better, Jimmy Smith or Devin McCourty at corner for free agent signings? I'm pretty sure they're both under contract. Let me go d double check that real fast. Because McCourty opted out, if I re remember correctly, which means he's going to come back. Jason McCourty's a free agent. So maybe if you meant Jason McCourty, and then Jimmy Smith is, as I look at my notes here, he is under contract. So Devin McCourty there in terms of your best option at corner. From Evan Rice, should Dallas add Kyle Rudolph at tight end? Um, I mean, I will preface this by saying, as I always do, cheap one-year deal, no guaranteed money? Sure. Kyle Rudolph, though, is probably not better than Blake Jarwin, at least what you hope Blake Jarwin is going to be. And in terms of Dalton Schultz, like, he played really well, and both those guys are already cheap, so you would bring in Rudolph to be tight end 1C, tight end 2? Like, I think you're fine there. I don't think you need to go and add another tight end. I don't think this organization is set up in a spot where if you're adding players, it should be anything more than the Blake Bell deal last year, which was very cheap, brought him in to be a third tight end, and that's what he was. That's what I would be looking for if I were going to go add a free agent tight end. And frankly, I think Kyle can get more money and more snaps and targets elsewhere. Now, if you want to be on these live mailbags, the only way is to be subscribed. Because otherwise, you won't be notified when we go live. You won't click the notification to join and be a part of the live chat. And there's no chance producer Brett will ever see your questions because you're not actually watching. So if you want to be a part of these, you have to subscribe and hit that big red button. From your boss, if Dak doesn't sign, what would be the best option in free agency, the best trade option, the best draft option? So your boss, we did this video. Dak Prescott Replacements is already available on the channel. So instead of a 30-second clip here, go check that one out with a lot more in-depth discussion. From Jorge MV, what Gallup trade package would you think the Cowboys would consider? Focusing on a draft pick side of it, I'm thinking second or third round pick. I don't think you, you can get a second, but weird stuff happens, right? And the third is the baseline for what I would expect. Like, I think I can get a fourth-round pick in the comp pick process next year. So the difference between one more year of having a legitimate number two receiver in Gallup and the pick, I'll go one round there. So I don't want to give them away. I'm not going to do that. If I could get a fourth or better or, or a third or better, I'm intrigued. Beyond that, I'm probably just going to keep him and worry about replacing him next offseason. From Joseph again, who do you think is going to make the biggest jump next year? Wilson, Diggs, Gregory, or Beadish? Um, I think all four of those guys, optimistically, will take a nice step forward, right? I feel the best about Trevon Diggs of the four. The one I want to see make the biggest jump is probably Tyler Beadish. If I can get above average starting center play, that's going to be a big deal for my offensive line. From my burner account, could the Cowboys be interested in Marcus Williams or Anthony Harris? That's the, sa the Saints safety and the Vikings safety. Of the two guys, I think Marcus Williams is the most intriguing. I think he's the best fit for what the Cowboys, I think, are going to try to do on defense. Namely, having more single, high, middle-of-the-field safety. And I think that's b better for Williams than for Anthony Harris. Although, when it comes to free agency, eh, Stephen Jones does like to spend money. So be honest for me in the comments section. Do you trust him? Do you trust Stephen Jones as, yeah, Jerry Jones is the owner, 
But Steven's got a lot of power these days. Do you trust him? Get your votes in for me. Why for yes and for no? As I'm watching the live chat come in, I see an awful lot of ends. So keep those coming. Why for yes and for no? From Randy, what do you think? We draft Kyle Pitts, trade Gallup and Schultz for a quality defensive player. If you're going to go about the move of drafting a, a Kyle Pitts or Jamar Chase or a Jalen Water or Vontaze or whatever, I think you have to ship off Gallup and or Schultz or even Jarwin too. So I'm open to that idea. Just depends on if you can find that defensive player in exchange. From DeLunatic, who's gone first in 2022? Jalen Smith, LVE, or Tyron Smith? Ooh, it's a good one. Um... I th it should be Jalen. I wonder if he's the most likely, though. Which I don't like saying, but I could see, like, Tyron retiring in the near future or just getting cut because he can't stay healthy. The Cowboys convince themselves Jalen's better, not picking up LVE's option, and then keeping Jalen because, well, you can't lose both linebackers or something along those lines. Allen Williams might be a dumb comment. No such thing. But I'd pay Gallup a fat check like Cooper to keep him on this team. Would you like to be the GM of the Cowboys, Dap Tom? Again, I only want to be owner. I don't want to be GM because you guys are going to fire me after two years. Make me owner. That way, I can never fire myself. And I promise, I promise that I will be a better owner than Jerry Jones and won't just pocket all the cash. I promise you there. As for paying Gallup... I don't think you want to spend all that money. I think from a roster-building perspective, even though he's worth it, you actually might be better served looking elsewhere towards the defense spending that money or investing that type of capital.